Hey guys, what's going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Cat Commentaries, and um, yeah, today's this is another Smart Cat Commentary on Saturday, and uh, on my channel, on my Ask Your Audience little section thing, uh, Super Original JJ had the highest rated suggestion, which was do a video about some islands and parts of countries going underwater, please. Uh, that was Super Original JJ from Australia, and um, I, I looked into it and I thought it was actually very interesting, and um. There are, as I looked it up, there are eight countries that are literally about to go underwater, and I'm reading this from a, 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 a post online. Bangladesh, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Barbados, Kiribati, Egypt, and Tuvalu, and the Maldives are all about to go underwater, because most of them, uh, for example, uh, Kiribati has, the water has risen so high that only uh, the highest point on the island is two meters above sea level, which is, which is not a lot at all, which is, it's very, it's not even one story of a building. So, um, but before I get into, like, the commentary and, uh, all that stuff, um, I just want to talk about my channel, you guys, you have to, we have to watch the video in HD, this one will be in HD, I, I should, I fixed the render settings from the last video, so it should be all good, and, um, follow me on Twitter at smartcodcoms if you want to see when videos are going to be updated and, and what, what I plan on doing. But uh, here I'm playing Black Ops on Cracked. I went 31-2, and two, and I got my dogs. Uh, literally, Black Ops has become such an easy game. It's so relaxing. You can just go in. I get my dogs and Chopper Gunner almost every single game I play, except for, like, Search and Destroy and stuff. It's just, uh, there's hardly any people that are that are just bullshitting, and it's just, it's great, actually. I really recommend it. It's, it's relaxing, and there's no, uh, there's not really any lag. Which is great, and I recommend you try it. The only thing that annoys me is here I got killed by Last Stand a couple times, which is... I got killed by Last Stand once, and then I just got killed by this guy. I didn't even see him uh, the second time. But, um... So yeah, I recommend you try it out, and I, I failed at fast-forwarding the chopper gun at the end, you'll see that. And, um, okay, anyway, so, enough, uh, beating around the bush. Uh, let's get into the commentary. So, uh, pretty much there are three, uh, causes that are, uh, acknowledged for the rising waters in the world. Uh, the first one is when any gas or, or liquid explo uh, ex expands, when any gas or liquid expands, it uh, it's because it heats up. I said that wrong. When any gas or liquid is heated, it expands, or when most gas or liquids, when they're heated, they expand. So that I just believed what is happening with you with the water as the temperature increases due to the, uh, the greenhouse effect. Um, the water is expanding and it's taking up more mass and it, it's rising. But that's only uh, estimated to have about like affected like two feet of water. So the water has risen about two feet from that over the past like 100, 200 years, which is not a lot because that you can't even tell because the beaches are taking up that about two feet. But um, the second one is the melting of the ice caps, which I'm sure a lot of you know of. Uh, the ice caps on the North and South Poles and, and Greenland and all that stuff. They are melting. Um, they are melting at a, a pretty large rate, and it's predicted that as soon as if they all melt, uh, about over 150-ish feet of water. Uh, that's 150 feet, or about 100, uh, which is insane to think about. That's a lot. That's if every single bit of ice in the in the world melts, then that's pretty much every country will have huge, huge, huge amounts of water loss, and Benthafil there keeps sending me messages while I'm recording. It was really annoying, but, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry, I digress. But, uh, yeah. The third one is, uh, let's see here. The third one, and I'm, by the way, I, I wrote notes on, uh, I, what's called text edit from, I gained, gathered it from a couple websites and all that stuff. Then the third process is, um, is the loss of ice mass from Greenland to and Antarctica, uh, if, for example, if all, let's see here, a fact I got from website is, uh, if all the ice on Greenland were to melt, the ocean level would go up approximately 7 meters. So, uh, that's insane to think about. And that's just Greenland, if all the ice in the world were to melt, it'd be like, uh, I think like 100 meters, something like that, which is, which is crazy. So, uh, this is affecting a lot of countries. Um, for example, like the Philippines is reliant on the crop fields, and so is Egypt as well. And as the water levels rise, they are flowing into the... Uh, the crop fields and are drowning the, the crops and then sending people into severe uh, uh, droughts and stuff like that. And uh, also, lots of countries are dependent on the water runoff from the uh, melting ice, the slowly melting ice from the mountains. And uh, as that ice, if that ice completely disappears and doesn't have any chance to, to 
to reform, get more ice in the winter time because it's too warm, then those countries are also going to sign uh, experience significant just decrease in all crop growth. And um, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, for example, uh, fish and birds and stuff will also start to die because there will be more uh, more fresh water in, in the ocean as well. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you guys don't understand uh, what I said here, just leave a comment and I'll answer it personally for you. Uh, that's the end of the video. Peace.